What happened here? Where's the arch cannon? Oh, by the three, Lord Vivek looks terrible. Where's arch cannon Tarvus? He always seems to know what to do in situations like this. Barbus? The Daedric Hound? Wait, wait, I, d I don't understand any of this. But if Lord Vivek's energy has been depleted, then the moonlit Red Mountain. My gods! All of Vardenfell is in danger! If only there was a way to give Lord Vivek some energy. Wait! That's it! A blessing stone! Find the Overseer and retrieve another stone from the construction site. Oh, please, hurry. I've never seen Lord Vivek in such a desperate state. I expect the Overseer's near the unfinished cantons, watching out for looters. When people panic, they're capable of anything. And with all the chaos going on outside, the Overseer closed the construction site. A few moments ago, Red Mountain erupted and the moonlit above the city dropped dangerously low in the sky. I assume that was when Lord Vivek's energy was depleted. If we don't find a way to restore some of his power, and soon, Vardenfell is doomed. Uh, I'm not sure, but our first priority must be to restore some of the Lord Vivek's energy. After that, he can tell us what we need to do next. Did Barbus give any indication as to why he did this to Lord Vivek? So the seal's private domain. It's said that the place holds the secret to remaking Nern. I suppose that would interest Barbus and his master, Clavicus Vile. But Clockwork City can wait. The moonlit hanging above us, not so much. Someone has to take care of Lord Vivek. I'll make the preparations necessary to return the power and the Blessing Stone to him. I'm really operating above my station here. I'm not the Arch Cannon, after all. Then again, neither was Tavis, I suppose. Lord Vivek, don't let us die! Lord Vivek, save us! Shiralas, where are you? It's too dangerous. My wife decides to run out and chase some damned looters in the middle of a disaster. Who does that sort of thing? You'd think Lord Vivek's overseer would have a clearer head. She ran into the unfinished cantons. She's been beating herself up over the fact that they're behind schedule, but she won't do anyone any good if she gets herself killed. My wife's tough as nails. But she's no warrior. We barely got out of there alive. I can't believe the Overseer's still in there. What's she going to do when the Canton sinks into the bay? Yes, the Overseer ran in there when she saw the looters. We tried to follow, but then the moonlit began raining fire, ash, and chunks of rock. Last I saw, she was chasing the looters into the far canton. Greed is a powerful motivator. We left tools and materials just sitting around, unprotected, when the priests ordered everyone to get off the streets. The looters happily risk their lives if there's a profit to be made. <laughs> Go around! 
steals from Lord Vivek. Another looter. You want a taste of my steel too? No, wait. I remember you. You borrowed one of our blessing stones. Well, the arch cannon returned it after Lord Vivek was finished with it. So no need to fret about that. That's impossible. We installed the Blessing Stone back in its canton and finished construction on that section a short time ago. Wait a moment. Does this have something to do with the chunks of rock raining down on the city? I suppose you're in luck then. We happen to have another Blessing Stone. It's at the third canton. Here. This key will open the door to that portion of the construction site. Just watch out for more looters and the rocks falling out of the sky. Verona? Was she still angry with me? No, you don't have to answer that. You know my wife. I'll head back and let her know I'm all right. Tell Lord Vivek he can have our blessing stone, as long as he promises to do something about Bar Dao. Red Mountain, it's erupting. You've returned. Sounds like the city is falling apart out there, so there isn't much time. Were you able to get another Blessing Stone? We need to restore some of Lord Vivek's energy before the moonlit falls out of the sky. Perfect. I can feel Lord Vivek's essence inside it. I hope I remember how to do this. You'd better stand back, just in case. Hang on, Lord Vivek. Sweet energy, like a sip of water for a thirsty man. Oh, thank the three. Lord Vivek looks better already. Of course, the Blessing Stone is only a temporary measure. We still need to determine what to do about Barbus and the stolen energy. As Lord Vivek has written, the bravest heart never falters. You are truly the Vex champion. I didn't know if the Blessing Stone was going to work, but I appreciate your help. Now go and talk to Lord Vivek. I'm sure he has a plan to share with us. <laughs> 